Welcome to have, How to Make a Coffee with Craig. First, we're gonna go over the things that we need. We need coffee. We need the bean grinder and the espresso machine. The espresso little cup thing. This is where you put the ground coffee beans in. And that goes inside the espresso machine arm dealy. Okay, so there's, there's two of these cups. This is important remember this part so you got your half size which is a, a single shot you double size double shot single double so you just need to figure out how much you want to drink I pretty much always use the double if you want to froth milk up you're going to need the milk fro frother that's this thing it's in the fridge, usually. If it's not in the fridge, it'll be in the drying rack. This is an important part of the, uh, the coffee making process because if you do it wrong, it can make a big mess. So you're gonna take this thing, this isn't the part that'll make a mess, and cram it in there. If you use two hands, it's easier, but I'm holding onto my phone. So once that's in there, this is the, this is the important part. This is the part that if you miss it, it'll make a big mess. Um, this little, metal looking handle you have to turn it like this to get this little tube thing out if you don't get the tube thing out the milk will just the steamer will just splurt milk all over the place and then you just have a big milky mess which isn't as fun as it sounds so metal thing don't forget that metal thing metal thing's important okay so you're gonna want a cup right Cups are in the cupboard where we keep our cups. It's in the cup cupboard. Cupboard? It's probably a joke there. So we'll grab a cup. That one will work. What about the beans though, Craig? You said that it was beans. Yes, there is a bean grinder. So here's what we're gonna do, all right? This is, hold on, wait. How do I know if I can see it if I can't see my own thing? Okay. This slider decides how many beans you want. Eight for double, four for single, okay? Because I already have some, I'm just gonna do single, but uh, yeah, four for single, eight for double. And then there's this little container. Another opportunity to make a big mess. If this thing doesn't have this little plastic container in it, it's gonna be a big mess. So make sure the plastic container's in there. And then when this is dialed up to the proper number, you just hit this start button. So, how's your day? Oh, it's done. Remove the thing. And inside this container, there are now coffee grounds. So what we do is just kind of shake it to get them all into like one corner and then you can there's a hole here you pour it out into the the cup that's i mean that's that's one way to do it the other option of course is like use a spoon to scoop it out which eventually you have to do anyways but uh the important thing is oh i guess i should show the drawer this is a drawer right here in this drawer, you'll find this spoon. This spoon is important because this spoon has the tamping thing on it. You take this and you go squish and you squish it flat. And then you just repeat, pour grounds and squish flat until this thing is full of flat grounds. You don't gotta like cram it in there, but like it should be fairly dense. So, uh, you can either keep pouring it out into the cup and uh, risk making a mess, which is what I usually do, and then I have to clean up after myself. Or you can use this other spoon that is also in that drawer to scoop it like a normal person, but using tools to accomplish the task to get more grounds out. At some point, you'll realize that having two hands is very helpful for this task. So I'm going to set you down for a sec. Okay. Uh, 
and then I'm going to squish it. Hold on, I'll try and I'll try and demonstrate the squish, so you can have an idea of how squishy it needs to be. You just kind of give it a squish. It was very scientific. This has a little brush on it, so you can like brush excess coffee grounds into the cup thing. Okay. All right. All right. I made a bit of a mess here because I'm trying to do it one-handed, but I think you get the idea. And then you take this thing, put it in this thing. This thing's like this now. And you put it in here. And these things, this, this ledge looking thing, right at the front here. See the, just goes like that. And then you turn it. Eh. You might need to use two hands. If you have two hands, it's probably easier to just make sure it's nice and tight. And then um, you turn it on. Turning it on is an important part of the process. And then you just kind of pick what you want. So uh, you got your cup, you got your metal thing going into your cup. There's water in the thing. Oh, fuck, there's no water in the thing. Okay, hold on. So this thing in the back here requires water. Coffee. Water is an ingredient for a cup of coffee. So you pull that out. I feel like you understand probably how to use one of these. It's a kitchen sink. Probably familiar with that from home and other places that have kitchens or sinks. You gotta be patient with this process. But it's worth it in the end when you sip that delicious, delicious coffee. Okay, now we got water in it. So we're gonna put this back on. I'm gonna use two hands for this, but I'm gonna try and set it up so you can see. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, let's find out. Two hands around the back. We're just gonna set it down. If it's easier, you can pull the whole coffee maker out before you do that you probably won't run out of water. I'll try to remember to fill it with water before I leave. Okay, we're ready. We got water, we got coffee, we got cream. Now we just have to push a button. You have espresso, in which case you don't need this, cappuccino or a latte. I make lattes because then I can say to the machine, thanks a latte. <laughs> this thing on? That's uh, that's not big. It's really loud. Oh, wait, here comes the coffee. Imagine it didn't work, that would have been so embarrassing record this whole video and then it just doesn't work. We're done, right? So what we're gonna do is now we need to like disassemble it. First, we're gonna disassemble this part, the milk part. You just put your fingers in here. You can wrap it around where the tube goes. Put your hand on top and just pull, just, just pull. It's probably not gonna break, just pull, it's fine. This part, remember we turned it on this way. You can take off the other way. Perfect. We'll take this, we'll just set it beside the sink for now. It is gonna leak a little bit of coffee all over the place. That's fine, we'll get over it. Uh, coffee grounds can go on the composter, which is there. Just use a spoon to, just use a spoon to scoop, a, scoop it out and then rinse it out and then it'll be ready for the next time that you wanna use it. And then, uh, I must have missed a spot last time I shaved. That looks longer than that's not the point of this video. <laughs> um, 
What was I saying? Right, put this thing back in the fridge or else the milk will get all gross and uh, and you will wish that you had. And then, uh, yeah, and rinse this thing out after you empty the coffee grounds and you're kind of just good for next time. Until next time.